So this video that we're looking at looks like we have asked people to talk to the report. So this is the Let's move on to the United Kingdom's court system. What you see here is a simplified overview of the main courts and their hierarchies. The details of how which court hears which cases and appeals are far more complex. But for now, let's focus on the basic structure. We will direct you to resources with additional information at the end of this lesson. At the very top of the court structure sits the United Kingdom Supreme Court, previously called the House of Lords. Below the Supreme Court are the so-called Senior Courts of England and Wales, the Court of Appeal and the High Court. The Senior Court hears cases that are serious or raise important issues. The Court of Appeal hears appeals in criminal and civil matters against decisions made in a county court, in the High Court, and the Crown Court. The High Court functions as both a court of first instance for high-value civil claims and as an appellate court for civil and criminal cases. It consists of three divisions, the Queen's Bench, the Chancery Division, and the Family Division. Below the Senior Courts is the Crown Court. This court sits in various centres throughout England and Wales. It deals with criminal law cases. Below the Crown Court is the Magistrates Court, which is also found throughout the country. The Magistrates Court mainly hears criminal law cases. For civil law matters at the lower level there are county courts which deal with civil law matters as well as family courts for family law issues. Finally there are various tribunals that deal with specialist issues such as tax, employment and others. 
This is the UK Supreme Court, located in Westminster in London. At the Supreme Court, cases are heard either by five, seven, or nine of the twelve justices of the Supreme Court, each of whom reaches an individual decision. Their overall verdict is achieved either by unanimity or at least a simple majority. The UK Supreme Court is the final court of appeal in the United Kingdom. Like its US counterpart, the UK Supreme Court only hears appeals for certain cases. These cases must include arguable points of law that are of the greatest public importance. In civil law cases, the Supreme Court is responsible for hearing cases for the entire United Kingdom. In criminal cases, it hears cases for England, Wales and Northern Ireland, but not for Scotland. Well, as we can see from that video, uh, the court has asked to go from the top end of the Supreme Court down to the bottom end of the magistrate and the council court. Um, the importance of having this hierarchy, the court hierarchy system, is that we need to rely on the doctrine of testing um, and they identified that the testing stated that uh, we cannot um, operate effectively without this hierarchy of thought. And under this doctrine of like testing, uh, rulings on new matters from superior court are binding on lower courts in the hierarchy. And this the whole point of this that it ensures consistency throughout with all the courts and the offences that are going to <clears throat> So we've got the hierarchy of the civil courts in England, so the Supreme Court, as the video stated. The Court of Appeal, the High Court, under the High Court is the King's Bench Division, the Family Division, and the Chancellor Division, and then County Court. So we've got tribunals. So this is the type of tribunal. You have tax, finance, you have employment tribunal, you have immigration tribunal. So these are the specialist areas that we do. So again, the hierarchy of the civil law court in regards to civil law is that we look at firstly at the Supreme Court, which again is the final court, it's the most highest court, and um, it was replaced um, in, uh, it was replaced by the House of Lords, um, and it was reformed by the Constitutional Reform Act 2005, and it started to be a case on the 1st of October 2009, and it was totally separate from the government um, and parliament, and um, it is purely an appellate jurisdiction, so it's the part of final appeal when it comes to any sort of civil cases in the world. Um, it hears um, appeals as the media and points of law of general public importance and concentrates on state or cases that are of greatest importance to the public and institutional importance, so it doesn't really rely on um, small cases. Um, and the whole point of it is that it ensures, the Supreme Court ensures that the law is correctly interpreted and applied and that the legal limits and powers of public institutions are respected. Then we've got um, the Court of Appeal. And the Court of Appeal has two divisions of the Court of Appeal. It has the criminal division and the kind of civil division. Um, the, the civil division of the Court of Appeal is from the High Court and the tribe the tribunal from under circumstances from counterparts as well. The court of appeal is the highest court within the criminal court in the real world and the other appeal is in the court for tribunal, and as I said, it is divided into two um, divisions, civil and criminal. The decisions of the court of appeal are binding on itself and all of the courts except the Supreme Court. Um, 
Then we've got the high court, um, and the high court is the third highest court in the UK. Um, it deals with civil uh, cases and appeals of decisions made in lower court. It is um, based in London and at the Royal Court of Justice, but it has district, uh, registered throughout England and Wales that almost all high court proceedings may be issued and heard. And within the High Court, we've got, um, as we stated earlier, um, we've got two divisions, uh, two French divisions, uh, and this division will handle all cases related to contract and tort in the region. Um, the court segments that fall under the division include commercial court, commercial court, admiralty court, technology, and construction court, and the municipal court. Uh, the family division includes uh, the family houses, the company part, the visual part, and the basic part. And then you've got the pantry division, which houses the part which handles all issues related to family law, matrimony, etc. The decisions of divisions of the high court are binding from the appeal civil division of the court of the High court uh, cases are usually heard by a single judge, but certain types of hearings. Similar appeals and judicial review appeals uh, are assigned to a uh, division of court, uh, which is a bench of two or more judges. And that looks, the reason behind that, it looks at the severity of the case and looks at um, whether there's a need for two or more judges. A jury uh, will occasionally sit in the High Court, but in these cases, involving things like defamation. And uh, false imprisonment, malicious prosecution, and so on. The High Court is bound by the doctrine of precedent by the decision of all courts of the, um, the, which the Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal. Um, and uh, previously, when we were in the uh, Brexit, so it was able to the court justice of the UK in the Union. And in terms of the high court decision by the lower court, which is things like the county court uh, and high court judges do not follow each of these decisions, although previous high court cases do not have cases under their own reason in terms of these cases. So then we've got the county court. Um, and the jurisdiction of these courts is clearly civil. The proceedings of these courts in 92 uh, counties to the first place in the world. Uh, the county court and the majority almost all of these cases are related to civil courses. The judges that side over the cases under the county court will be district as circuit judges. Um, the county court deals with all except the most complicated and the most simple civil courses. Uh, such as claims for repayment of debts, breach of contracts involving goods, property, personal injury, family issues, including adoption and divorce, housing issues, including the figure of mortgage and rent rates, or unconstituted repossession, and enforcement of serious transport business. Cases uh, at the county court are heard by a judge without a jury. Uh, and decisions of the county court may be appealed to the appropriate division of the country. Then the next one we go through is the uh, tribunal service. There are many specialist areas of the law and cases such as immigration, employment, child welfare, which are given by the tribunals in other world, and there are separate tribunals for separate areas all across the UK. As mentioned in that video, the different areas that you must just mention. Um, it could also include things like compensation, uh, social security tribunal, and um, education uh, tribunals, maybe also to do with schooling, employment tribunals, obviously, if anyone thinks of an example, would be if anyone can dismiss from work unfairly, so we have to go to employment tribunal, child support, pension, tax, and land tribunal. Decisions of the tribunal service may be part of the appropriate provision of the high court as well. Then we've got the headlines to the criminal uh, law, which at the top is, um, again, 
the uh, Supreme Court, which again is a host court. Um, and then we've got the Public uh, Health of Law, where the Supreme Court is the law law. This is just a Supreme Court, so the law to assist us in the Supreme Court. And then there's part of the law to assist us blog with the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court, which is the King's Bench and the Circuit Division, the Clarges and Justices of the King, and then the Magistrates Court of Hockey. So the Supreme Court in similar law cases is the final part of the as mentioned earlier. It appears here's a few of the high points of law, a public importance for the whole of the UK civil cases. And for England and Wales and Northern Ireland and senior cases. Uh, the Judicial Committee is the Civil Council, which comprises the justices of the Supreme Court and more senior and more judges, is the finest for every single member of the United States, as well as the UK Property Society, found dependencies in the most important ways. It's not a bit clear when the high court constitutes the Supreme Court of England and Wales. It's not a bit clear when the talent court has been divided into two divisions, and the main court, the main court, and the main court. The Uh, the criminal division will only have a court of appeal besides appeals from the county court and some courts matters. Within the criminal division, within the court of appeal, courts are constituted by the Lords of Justice. Lords and Lady Justices are usually two high court judges. The need is uh, to appeal is required. The court of appeal uh, typically uh, is not in special evidence, so it relies on what's there. Uh, that it has the discretion to do so if necessary or excluded in the case of this. So if there's anything that they feel like they really need extra evidence, they will ask for that in the in, in, in state of making decisions. The part of the field uh, may appoint or reverse uh, lowest court decision, as mentioned earlier, but it may not grant uh, more to the essential from originally enforced. Except in cases specifically referred to by the Attorney General, in which the prize is appears to have been unduly removed. The criminal division also acts as an advisory body in front of the of the Attorney General. So the next one to look at is the crime case. Uh, the Crown Court sits in the centres around English, uh, England and Wales. Uh, it deals with indictable criminal uh, cases and that are transferred from the Magistrates Court, including serious criminal cases. So, uh, criminal cases in the here are tied uh, in two different types of court, as I mentioned, to the Crown Court and the Magistrates Court. The Crown Court was established historically in January 1972 and located, as you mentioned, regionally. Um, and um, they normally hear cases uh, that are sent to them, as we mentioned, by the magistrate court. Depending on the type of offence uh, within which a person is in charge, uh, criminal offences um, are um, sent to the crown court. So these the criminal offences are classified into two types. So you've got sibling offences, which can only be tried in magistrate court, either way offences, which can be tried either in magistrate or crown court, and indicted offences, which are only tried in crown court. So a jury a trial takes place before a um, trial takes place before a jury in a crown court. Uh, a jury consists of 12 or three members and a crown court trial can take place too long back. It is more complicated for this in this case to the family legal argument. Often this takes um, place before the trial itself. Uh, this means it can take up to uh, between six months and a year for a jury trial to take place. 
So it's a little bit more lengthy in regards to any other part in regards to where you can use the evidence. Um, there is um, a case that's been referred to a magistrate for two mechanical there is statistics that demonstrate that there is a greater chance of acquittal in trying to before doing the same as for some of the other magistrates. So, but obviously, um, because it's longer and the hearings tend to be more um, complex, um, a trial court trial can be more expensive as well. Then we've got the magistrate part of using to be a little bit more with the trial court as well. Uh, these parts here are often the places that they're thinking. Less serious cases where they have been given out to apply to the magistrate court is very often for their purpose. Magistrate court here with three kinds of cases, as I mentioned earlier, similar cases, which is less serious cases, either their cases uh, are heard by um, either the magistrate court or um, the board judge and jury at the um, trial court. And in that case, we have previous. Um, that are referred from the Magistrate Court to the um, uh, Trial Court of the Security of the Offence. The Magistrate Court, again, is one of, uh, one of the lowest criminal courts in the UK. There are approximately about 330 Magistrate Courts in the UK, with one in almost every town and city. Uh, for the most part, Magistrate criminal cases in the magistrate court with 90% of criminal cases being completed then. So the whole point is that they don't want to um, uh, try to send so many cases because uh, the crime court has a lot of cases in uh, over the magistrates may be either unqualified uh, just to see the things or qualified just to people who deal with longer, more complex matters than um, that can be for the magistrate court. Uh, each magistrate court has a legally qualified class, so it's a system of the and legal matters. So if there's anything that magistrates don't understand, you know, they have a class there that helps them. Examples of cases um, that come to the magistrate court are things like driving without insurance, um, swap, which is taken without consent, uh, common assault, and less serious driving offences. Most um, offences are private and there, and so that could be serious or complex enough to be tied at the time point. In addition to uh, criminal cases, uh, magistrates have some limited civil jurisdiction as well. Uh, things like such as enforcement council tax demand and issuing warrants of entry and investigation for electricity and gas authorities. At certain family cases also um, dealing with diesel of things like you know, um, alcohol licenses and things. So that that would be so much so three point two to look at explaining uh, the process of the appeal. So, in any case, if you get permission to appeal, um, you get a letter before the hearing, and then you have to you get in touch with your uh, legal representative, and they would uh, submit their appeal. And the appeals are normally decided by panels of people, three judges that work together, um, and uh, the panel presents a legal argument, uh, which is called um, a brief. And in the brief, the appellate has said the judges that the trial court uh, made an error and the decision could be reversed. Um, so if the, the whole point of an appeal will um, try to correct any errors by the trial judge, um, and if the decisions of the appellate court are fully reasoned. So this is up to the um, up to your legal representative to be able to this. So when we look at the appeals process in regards to court of appeal, in most cases, permission to get a appeal to the court of appeal is required. Once one has to be lodged as an appellate's notice within 21 days of the decision to be appealed, um, 
along with the ground spot view. It's very important um, that the ground spot view are submitted with that because that's the uh, that you are relying on. Full documentation and skeleton argument is the part of the design shortly after. Um, if permission is granted, the appeal will be heard, usually before a three person court, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, usually, there's no new evidence allowed as the facts have been available at the high court stage, but sometimes it's possible to find fresh evidence. As the high court judgment may be given in the start, usually, um, it is handed down. In cases where uh, we should the British review is received by the High Court, that helps me to put the laws to be known. Uh, refused permission. So if a decision is made usually on paper by a lord or lady district of appeal, the prospective appellate will show that the board will stand a really good process to protect success. If the permission is appeal is refused at that stage, that is end of the matter. One cannot take it further to the Supreme Court if you will have been refused twice the High Court and Court of Appeal. If permission in that case has been granted, then the appeal will be heard and permission will be granted. Uh, the appeal will be heard using the Court of Appeal as I've just mentioned. Usually, uh, no new evidence is allowed as facts have been done at the high court stage. But sometimes, again, it's possible for uh, fresh evidence to be produced. The appeal stage, therefore, tends to be cheaper than the high court stage. As the high court judgment will be given on the spot, so usually it will come down in life and later. Increasingly, um, the court to appeal will either be wounded or the humanity is less um, interesting. So the next thing is the appeal process of a subject uh, of the Supreme Court. So a dissenting judgment in the court of social uh, could be a good deal to get the submission to appeal to the Supreme Court and the court of the direct. And the appeal committee of two Supreme Court judges will decide whether to grant the mission or not. The mission is given extremely strongly, uh, usually in relation to court of the environment and court of the principle. So we've now looked at the different hierarchy of uh, the courts in English law and the importance of this and why they are needed in English court in regards to um, you know, uh, why they are set up and what kind of offences are dealt with in regards to the um, court in each court um, and whether there's a need for these courts as well. You know, um, because some of the courts are inundated with uh, so much work, um, there's a need to have uh, a magistrate court that includes into the town court and then the court of appeal. Um, and if you go back to the diagram, the court, it just identifies that there's a need for having uh, a town court, uh, the tribunal, the high court, because the high court has got different divisions, um, also the court of appeal as well. In regards to um, the tribunal, um, they need to have a uh, tribunal for specialist area in regards to things like uh, tax, as we mentioned earlier, land. Um, and, you know, um, they must have uh, different courts for both uh, civil and criminal cases, uh, where a civil case is usually um, something that's brought uh, by a citizen against another party. So the litigation is commenced by the term of the student of defendant. Um, and then we can make the case by um, the state against an individual. So the state could be uh, maybe the students, um, the CPS, uh, the 
campus. I can do is just get to see her first. Um, we are perfect movie fans, they see in charge. Um, I'm really looking at overall in regards to the variety of uh, criminal and civil cases, uh, civil and criminal cases, uh, uh, process differently by industry or system. Different procedures are used, um, and there's a need to use this procedure as, as you know, um, civil cases is something that's against um, by citizens against the legal body, whereas in the criminal, it's fair against an individual by a corporate defendant. So, you know, it needs to be a different system. So, there's different procedures and vocabulary used in cases that will be different parts, um, and they even need to have these different parts. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to end, finish this session off, some references which you can refer to, and also, again, I will say refer to um, the Moodle page in regards to learning out from three in regards to the hierarchy of the thought building journals, additional readings that you can do online. The same good references here that you can refer to from book, uh, Ashworth Other, his book of criminal law, um, we've got the rule of law by Bingham, uh, Derbyshire on the uh, English legal system, English legal system by Elliot Quinn, um, case and education, then we've got some more here, which is uh, the concept of law by heart, um, and then we've got a um, dictionary that we can use in this legal system by Martin, uh, Leetridge, um, and uh, things like uh, the World Union of 2018 in regards to the university test. Um, and now we've finished the session, um, and thank you for attending today's session on learning at P3 and I'm going to do a lot of that in the Thank you.